Yo, so I actually was gonna do my monthly awards players predictions today, but I didn't have as much time for a video to do research and stuff like that as I wanted to. So that's coming tomorrow. If you're watching right now, leave in the comment section your predictions or thoughts on players that need cards for the May monthly awards program leave those down in the comment section be sure to leave a like if you're watching this video subscribe if you are new on the road to 100,000 subscribers feel free to follow on any of those social medias twitch twin gaming tv instagram down in the description I should be live on twitch right when this video goes live so be sure to come say what's up but for today's video i'm talking about the third inning program for the beginning and then the rest of the video i plan to talk about the new event i don't really know what i'm titling this video or doing for the thumbnail or anything like that but pretty much i just want to talk about have a little bit of a discussion i don't know if you guys are going to enjoy this video if you don't let me know in the comments because this is something i kind of would like to do as the year goes on you know anytime there's a big content drop a lot of new stuff coming out just kind of talk about it get my thoughts and today's focus are just things that i am underwhelmed with or kind of was hoping would be a little bit better specifically like i said that new event which we'll talk about here in a second but even in the inning program now the bosses i'm okay with them right when they release the bosses they're higher overalls you know there's not a lot of guys necessarily that are better than these cards or anything like that right now so the inning bosses i'm okay with not everybody has collections done not everybody has every card uh, not everyone plays on the highest difficulty or anything like that which was a big complaint with size more that content being so low versus i believe lefty so i'm okay with the bosses especially Eck. i love him um but like i understand not everybody has every card not everybody plays on hall of fame and legend difficulty now with that being said okay 600 two things number one 650,000 xp is a lot of xp i feel like this live series diamond choice pack is not necessarily the best option to have at the end of the inning program right i feel like they could give us something a little bit better i don't necessarily think they should give us a guaranteed higher diamond but i know for me i would rather have like a 42 series pack a space pack kitchen sink something like that right i just feel like this 85 through 89 at this point is really underwhelming i think there's literally only two options for this that are even worth more than 15,000 stubs so i feel like just for getting to the end it should be something different right i feel like this is worth way less than a space pack potentially you know i, I feel like it's not a good thing to end on so that's kind of a complaint i have i would really like to see the fourth inning program have something different at the end something at least in my opinion a little bit better and you know as always with everything i'm saying in this video feel free to leave your thoughts ideas down in the comment section i just feel like i feel like this is not the way to end a program is with an 85 through 89 live series diamond i also don't think they should be doing a 90 or higher diamond though either i feel like there's a good in between i would kind of like to see uh a space pack you know space pack kitchen sink special pack like that over this but that's just my opinion and then the second thing that i want to focus on for the inning program is no extra xp right the first two programs have 650,000 xp and i have two thoughts on this number one the reason it doesn't go further i would guess is because there is xp glitches in the game a big one uh has people able to complete the inning program literally within like half an hour of it dropping so uh, i feel like until they get those glitches worked down and fixed they probably don't want to have extra rewards for getting xp just because people are going to abuse it they're going to be getting packs if they're offered whatever they offer for the extra xp i'm assuming uh they probably don't want to do that because of the glitches because of people getting so much xp so i understand that's the thing but at the same time and if they do get those issues worked out i feel like the inning programs need to be longer now i understand not everybody plays this game all the time or as much as me and not everybody's able to get that program maxed out get 650k xp but like i feel like it is a little bit low for the hardcore players uh i would like to see something i don't know exactly the best way to do it again if you guys have ideas leave them in the comment section but in my opinion every 50,000 xp after you max out this program there should be like something repeatable every 50k xp you're getting 10 standard packs five standard packs three ball as a habit pack something just anything maybe two headliners right i feel like anything is better than nothing you know don't inhibit is that the best word i don't know don't don't discourage people from finishing the program because like 
if I have the inning program done, that makes me not want to do the other stuff, right? If they release a player program, I'm like, well, I mean, I, and I understand not everything they add is for everybody, but if they introduce a player program, I want at least some reason to do it. I know maybe there's the collections and stuff, but uh, it just, like, if they introduce a conquest map, I, I'm not going to do it maybe for the free packs, but they've been kind of lackluster this year. So I feel like there needs to be some extra XP rewards after you max it out, no matter how small it is, even if it's five standard packs, like every 50,000 XP. I feel like just anything would be better than nothing. Just give me a reason to play certain things. Like, I was holding off on Conquest for Team Affinities for the last two weeks, however long it's been out, because I don't want to play the games when I'm maxed out on the second inning program, right? I don't want to play those games because I feel like I am wasting the XP. So it'd be really nice to have at least something, anything, that the XP goes towards. So I would really like to see that. And then the final topic, final portion in the video that I want to talk about is the new events. Okay, if you guys knew about the last event, you guys know 15 wins, you got the 42 series pack, 20 wins, you got the Pee Wee Reese, and then I want to say maybe 45 or 50 wins, maybe 40, I think it might have been 40, uh, I have 40 wins, I think, or 45, either way, the last reward of the reward path was another 42 series pack, and in that pack, you can get cards that are worth like 50 or 60,000 stubs for some of them, right? It was finally driving the price of some of those cards down a little bit, making Jackie a little bit easier to get. Now, one thing I will say about this new event that I love, I really like how many packs are offered, right? Five here, 10 standard packs here, a ball in here with some stubs, uh, 10 standard packs, 20 standard packs, five ball in. So I really like how many packs are offered. I think that's awesome. I would like to see even 10 and 20 bundles maybe early. Maybe not 10 and 20 bundles earlier on. I guess we have 10 here, but like, I just like how many packs are offered overall, okay? And now with that being said, at 30 wins, not 12, not 15, not 20, at 30 wins, you are getting a live series diamond. With the other event at 15, with the event we just had at 15 wins, you were getting a 42 series player pack. Cards worth probably 50 or 60k stubs in there. Easy. Like, you no matter what, get one of those cards that is worth minimum 50,000 stubs, right? That Cal Ripken Jr. I think Frank Thomas maybe is another one. Now, if you double those wins in this new event, you're able to get a card potentially worth 5,000 stubs. You might have, I'm assuming it's a choice pack, right? Four players, you will... There's probably people out there that will have four players all worth below 10,000 stubs, maybe right around 5,000, some new diamonds. So I feel like this was a really not planned out well chain of events, um, event rewards, right? I feel like the rest of this is awesome. Like 10 packs here, ballins over there, 10, 20, stuff like that. But the live series diamonds, 85 through 89 at 30 and 40 wins, I feel like is way too many wins for that low of a reward right i feel like if anything they should have had this be the last event and then this new one be the 42 series I, I feel like as the year goes on the rewards for the events should not get worse now with that being said obviously you do have all these other rewards and everything like that you can get a whole bunch of bronzes and silvers and gold down in the ballins ball is a gold packs but you know uh at, at 40 wins and 30 wins especially compared to that last event i feel like this is just not worth it to be getting 30 and 40 wins in this event i feel like it's not worth it in my opinion though like i said i would love to see y'all's feedback and everything i just feel like this event would have been a lot better having happened before the 42 club i feel like they should have flipped them around a little bit just my thoughts though and that's the whole point of this video right is to generate a discussion to get y'all's thoughts flowing my thoughts flowing hear y'all's thoughts down in the comment section how do you think my ideas of the event are you know the rewards for it how do you what do you think of my ideas for the inning program the rewards and everything like that right do you think it should be higher xp do you think they should wait until glitches are fixed and patched i just really wanted this video to be something where i start a conversation this will not be like something i do super super often right like i said this is something i want to do every now and then when there's a big content drop maybe i would say once or twice a month like maybe every two or three weeks something like that just to kind of get thoughts flowing conversations started in the comment section so if you guys enjoy the video you want to see more of these in the future definitely leave a like let me know in the comment section if you don't want to see these definitely let me know in the comment section i know it's kind of just me talking um about stuff in the game for a while straight but like comment subscribe social media is all that good stuff i'll see you next time i hope you did enjoy the video and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day thank you so much for watching peace out